Palace Arcturix will be dropping this Friday, December 11th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can calculate what that will be for you. And as far as Arcturix goes, I was unfamiliar with it. I had to look it up. I think the video I watched said that they're based in British Columbia and they focus on kind of like designer outerwear. So kind of think um, North Face, but with more sleek silhouettes. Uh, as far as like what I was looking at, they didn't really have the puffer jackets. They had some like kind of like ribbed puffer more along the lines of like insulated so like a lot more sleek silhouettes with that being said if you guys see me looking down here i'm looking at what you will see on the left hand side of the screen right now to start things off we have this jacket it looks like it will be waterproof it is made of a gore-tex material i saw a lot of people saying that the arcteryx model that this is kind of representing or it looks very similar to goes for like $800, so expect the price to be somewhere between like $800 and $1,000, not like anything cheaper than the base model, because you know, it's a collaboration, they usually raise prices. But with that being said, you have the Arcturix like skeleton. I'm not sure if that's their usual logo, but it kind of looks like a deer or something, a little bit strange, some skeletal figure. And then you have the Arcturix spell out and then palace. And then on the sleeve, it just says Arcturix and palace. You can also see there's some interesting color blocking or paneling going on as well. There's the side, which is a different color, a little bit of the sleeve, then the shoulder, and then of course you have the hood, is that bright orange. We also have this coming in a black colorway, which is, you know, same thing, just a lot quieter. We have this like overall gray tone, and then the paneling, including the hood, is also done in this black colorway. We do get a look at the back side, or I guess just the side view right here. And I believe uh, somebody did say in their promotional video for it, they show the back of this jacket and there is no trifurc on it. I also noticed some people on Reddit complaining about like, oh, super warm jackets, I'm in California and whatnot, I'm not gonna pay that much for it. And the people who appeared to have some experience about Arcteryx said that these are usually just kind of like a shell not really a multiple layered jacket with like linings and everything going on so this isn't necessarily like super warm though obviously you know waterproof and it's got to have some warmth to it i would imagine especially being gore-tex so next up we have those like ribbed puffers i was talking about where it's not really like a puffer jacket and i like as far as puffers go this is the one that i hate the most I, i've never liked these i always like I don't know, man. This I always associated like this type of North Face, where it's kind of like the ribbed puffer with the like preppy uh, frat kids and stuff like that. And I, I just hate this type of silhouette. I, I do not like this. I just, that's a big pass for me. But as far as branding goes, looks like you got some stuff going on in the hood. I would imagine it's just the Palace Arcturix spell out. And then of course you do have the logo and branding on the chest once again. Uh, we have another kind of like track jacket or zip up almost and uh, you know a lot of these are just super basic and i just, i don't want to see the prices for this i want to see the price list it's going to be dumb expensive for just this and you know same thing you get palace arcturix kind of like down by the cuff and then the logo stacked on the chest to get this gray colorway with the paneling we have some pants to go to go along with it really no branding visible you get kind of like a spell out that you can kind of see on the bottom left a little bit you guys might be able to see it moving on to the hoodies these are definitely my favorite and i think some of the colorways kill it I, I really enjoy one colorway specifically that we will see in a little bit but like i said they have that like skeletal figure it's really difficult to tell what's going on kind of looks like a deer like sprawled out or something i don't know somebody of course knows some more about Arcturix they can comment down below and then you also have the like embroidered spellets on the hood uh, I think they said I think like I think what I read is all the stuff on the front is going to be embroidered so that deer would be embroidered and then everything on the back is going to be a puff print which this puff print looks really nice you can kind of see there's like some three dimensional aspects to it which is you know of course that puff print will be raised other than that not too much to be said about the back you just have the triferg and then the arcturic spell out uh, moving on we get some more colorways shown off you have this kind of like white and lavender and then this is my favorite colorway. I love this colorway, I think it's very cool. Kind of reminds me of some Heron Preston stuff. Definitely reminds me of Carhartt stuff. And they're going for this like outdoors hunting aesthetic, which from what I read kind of sounds like that's 
a little bit of the field that Arcturix specializes in, kind of what I would assume is like duck hunting for like rich people or something. But once again, I love this colorway. I think it's a great combination. Palace sometimes just like misses on every single colorway. But I think for this collaboration, the colorways are killing it. And then we also have this like purple embroidery and then also the puff print obviously will be purple and that's on a white blank. It looks maybe like a little bit grayish, I'd assume just white though. And then lastly, we have another like workwear outdoorsy inspired colorway or like esque colorway where we have the yellow on black. Reminds me of some like a uh, Caterpillar stuff or DeWalt. And that's it for the hoodies. Moving on to the t-shirts, we have the same thing we saw before on a lot of the jackets where we just get the logo and then the stacked spellouts. We have this lavender colorway, a navy colorway, uh, kind of this like rust colorway, uh, mustard-ish colorway. I'm not exactly sure what they'll call this one, but I do like this colorway, kind of like a sandy, uh, yellow or gold and then we have uh, I think maybe purple I'm not sure what color that is from here but uh, the white blank and then a black one just classic also important to note that all of these t-shirts are 3m you have the kind of like lights off pictures here with everything hit with some light and glowing so uh, if, if you like that stuff you have that and then moving on to the accessories we start off with some bucket hats you get the Arcturix logo and then on the back you have the Palix Arcturix. Looks like it's made out of a kind of interesting material. That being said, I'm not crazy about it. You know, I think uh, if I was going to go for a bucket hat, there's a lot better ones out there, especially the, the price on these is probably gonna be crazy. We also have these like basically just all Arcturix branding on this baseball cap. Uh, I think on the back we get some Palace stuff, maybe if they show it. Uh, but yeah, coming in a plethora of colorways, not really digging any of them maybe these will be on like palace blank i guess they don't show anything for the back but i would imagine they have like at least a palace tab on the back of the hat and then moving on we have some beanies where you just get the arcturics on half and then palace on the other half not crazy about that colorway black and yellow colorway is good would rather had like a white on this orange or salmon instead of that navy and then we have the backpack i'm not crazy about this i'm not crazy about the silhouette though i do acknowledge this backpack has use to it you know i'm sure uh, like all these straps and stuff you can put your gear in and then it's obviously waterproof so uh, I acknowledge that I'm just not crazy about the looks of it and then yeah we also get a waste bag and I think this is the last yeah that's the last piece from the collaboration uh, I don't know I'm just not, not crazy about the, the waste bag either. I'm not feeling it. As always, I'm sure somebody out there will be like, Arcturix started streetwear. How can you just hate on this collaboration? There's always somebody out there like that, but I'm not crazy about this collaboration, especially when we see the prices. Like this following a Palace Moschino collaboration where the designs were like crazy good and all that stuff was expensive. Like I'd much rather just spend money on that collaboration than something like this. I guess if you... Uh, lean more towards the like quieter designs this is more for you but once again for the prices personally I think like palace prices are already like pretty high up there for what you're getting don't get me wrong the quality is good but um, for for what this stuff is going to be it's an easy pass though uh, I, I do rock with some of those colorways especially that orange on brown uh, hoodie that's definitely my favorite piece with that being said what do you guys think of the collaboration though i'm always interested to see what you guys think as always thank you for watching and i will catch you in the next video